Hello, and welcome to another EAFC 24 Premier League match simulation. This time, it's Bournemouth versus Nottingham Forest. Um, Forest are one point above the relegation zone at the moment. Uh, Bournemouth only six points ahead of them, so both in danger of slip sliding into a relegation battle towards the end of the season so a win would be more than welcome for both teams but especially nottingham forest like i say one point ahead of the top team in the relegation zone which by the way is everton who are still having their decision to have 10 points removed reviewed so could gain 10 points and leave nottingham forest in the relegation zone yeah they uh they need a win, but so do Bournemouth, and Bournemouth are the home team here. Anyway, Nottingham attacking right to left. They've earned a throw in early in this match. And they've, oh, given away a free kick apparently. I'm not sure quite what happened there, but anyway, it's Bournemouth's uh, possession now, but I think that was Solanke. It was just isolated up there, to be honest. Uh, his supporters arrived, but Forrest got the ball back a while ago. Back to Turner, the goalkeeper. He distributes it long. And it's successful. Headed down and then passed to Gibbs White. Oh, who is dispossessed. Now here's Solanke on the ball. Back to... Oh, okay. It's moving around fast. Here's Kirkes. Back to Kluivert. Oh, tried to play it through to, I believe, Solanke. But good defending by um, Murillo. Now to follow Elanga. To Murillo. It could be Murillo, I guess. Dominguez, oh look at this, lots of space to run into down that left flank, but he decided to slow up and pass it back to, to Elanga instead. Oh, tried a fancy turn, but Aaron's was equal to it. Oh, not a good tackle there, and a deserved yellow card, to be honest, for Elanga. Can't really grumble too much of that, although he still is doing. Just slid straight through the player, not even close to the ball. So, free kick for Bournemouth. Can they build something? There's been very little in the... Well, nothing, in fact, in the way of, like, actual goal-scoring opportunities for either side just yet. It's been quite, to me, to you, across the middle of the park. Very little action in either attacking third so far, but Bournemouth have a throw-in down this right side, taken quickly to Billing, back to Tavernier. Another little one-two between the two. Oh, and dispossessed again. Murillo, Dominguez... Now here's Alanga. Chooses not to play the ball forward, instead running it down the left. Now plays it to Wood, who loses the ball. Get your wife's ticket, you silly goose. Right, Christie to Solanke. Clivert, oh, spreads it wide to Kirkes. Pulls it back to Cook. To Billing. To Solanke, no, dispossessed again. That's one of the best looking opportunities of the match so far, but still no actual shot on goal. Now Wood gets closed down by multiple Bournemouth players there, and now they're going to go on the attack with Christie, who loses the ball to Bowley. This has been very scrappy. Very scrappy first half. No... No one being really allowed to show their quality. Maybe that speaks to the quality of the defending. Or does it speak to a lack of quality in the attacking? Clivert to Tavernier. There's the first shot on goal, but it doesn't even make it past the defender. Good good block. And now over the top for Ilanga. Good opportunity here for Forrest. Inside to Wood. Oh, dispossessed. Good defence. And it's looking like the most nil-nil half that has ever nil-nilled, to be perfectly honest. One shot, and it was closed down by the defender directly in front of the person taking the shot. And that's been it for this first half. This game doesn't show automatic highlights anymore, but it wouldn't have anyway. <laughs> Let's get on with the second half, shall we? See if we get some goals or at least some action. Whenever, yeah, whenever it comes around, here we go. So Bournemouth to kick off this time, now attacking right to left. And it's Clivert. To Solanke, back to Clivert. 
Bournemouth needs to get some players running forward in support here. Everyone's just kind of stationary at the moment. Tavernia. Billing. Back to Tavernia. Here we go. There's a run on the outside, but he doesn't take it. Back to Billing instead. Through to Christie. Long shot. Good save by Turner. First time either goalkeeper's been called to action. Except when the ball was passed back to Turner in that first half. Corner for Bournemouth. They've clearly been uh, told to step it up a little bit in the halftime break. And they have done, to their credit. Short option is there. And they do take it. Here's Clivert. Back to Tavernier. To Billing. Zabani. And eventually it whittles down. I, I have to feel like they'd have been just better off floating a ball into the box and trying to get heads on it, to be honest. But here come Forrest coming forward. Aurier. Plays it to Gibbs White, or towards Gibbs White. Kelly actually picks it up. Good defending. Went with the man successfully. Now Kirk has. Plays it inside to Cook. Solanke. Tavernier. Plays it out towards Clivert on the left. Touch was heavy, but wasn't punished for it. Billing, Tavernia. Oh, takes on the man and beats him into the penalty area. And there's the first goal of the match. And Bournemouth have looked much better in the second half. And the same can't be said for Nottingham Forest. And Bournemouth now, I think, deserving the lead. Hug for the manager. Maybe as a thank you for the tactical changes. Maybe as an apology for the first half performance on behalf of the team. Look at this. Yeah, rash challenge. Got nowhere near. And then suddenly... He had, like, open sight of goal. And a great finish across the goal by Tavernier. Beat Turner nice and clean. Well, he's not happy, is he? Oh, it's Tavernier. Okay, my bad. I've been calling him Tavernier. Tavernier. Okay, noted. I'll try to remember that. Mangala. Any other names I mispronounced, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always wanting to learn. Gibbs White on the ball now. Pulls it back to Mangala. Dominguez. Oh, could have had an opportunity there, but again, closed down by the defender. Now, Tavernier. <laughs> Fouled. Is it a yellow card worthy offence? Not this time, says the referee. Dominguez just gets a warning. And a round of applause. Or well, maybe that was a sarcastic round of applause for the referee. Cook off for Bournemouth. Sanisi on. And Ilanga off for Forrest. Oh. Uh, we don't get to see who came on. I guess it'll tell us in the top corner in a second. Free kick taken short. Hudson Odoi on for Forrest. Gibbs White has dispossessed Bournemouth, faffing about with that short, cut, that short free kick. Gibbs White plays it to Hudson Odoi, who immediately tries to get a shot away. But uh, Bournemouth. Oh, oh, such a shame that wasn't a good tackle because the intent was, the intent was good. The high press to try to get you know some sort of grip on the game, but instead he gets a yellow card. Yeah, doesn't make any contact with the ball. A better executed tackle would have been great there, though. Murillo off for Forrest now, and Ryan Yates coming on. So can some of these substitutions lift Nottingham Forest and get them to score a goal and get salvage a point from this match? Point doesn't really suit either team, but Forrest would take one at this point. Bournemouth would really like to hold on to this lead. Played it through to Clivert. Lots of space for Kirkes on the left. Pulls it back to Solanke. Into Christie. Good defending. Oh, they've got it back though. Christie again. Long shot. And I think that's just been skied. Don't think it deflected. Willy Bowley <laughs> coming off. And Niakate? Niakate? One or the other, isn't it? Comes on. Again, let me know in the comments. Yeah. 
Floated forwards by Turner. Headed down by a Bournemouth player, but Forrest do regain possession quickly. Back heel was maybe too fancy for Yates. I didn't see it coming. Dominguez. Gibbs White. Back to Yates. Oh, dispossessed. And that might be the last opportunity for Forrest. Yes, indeed it was. There's the full-time whistle. A 1-0 victory for Bournemouth. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments how you think this match is going to go in real life. Do you think this is an accurate depiction? Um, subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to be simulating, hopefully, the entire rest of the Premier League. Uh, one match at a time. And uh, share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I'll see you next time.